And these creatures sought refuge in the swamp, never left. This animal's coming to the surface for only a second or two. And I, they see, what did I see? This thing walked on two legs. It walked like a human, but it wasn't human. Villages in the Philippines, and they managed to capture this one ton saltwater crocodile. It took them about three weeks. They set four different traps and it broke through all of them. Think you've seen it all? The Philippines might surprise you. Odd sightings in the sky, strange things washing up on shore, and tales of ghosts that feel too real. It's a place where the unusual becomes an everyday occurrence. A ghostly figure slowly emerged from the waves, ready to take on the four men that blocked its path. The Banyo Ghost, or the Antek Anyu, is believed to be the spirit of a princess who dove into the water to escape marriage, and since, emerges to lure men. Naturally, this was a terrifying situation for these men, but they seem rather encouraged to take on the ghost. After a few splashy misses, they eventually managed to grab a hold of the Banyu Ghost's hair, but every time they got too close or managed to hold her, the ghost simply became impossible to hold on to. They eventually let it go and decided to hop out before they could be harmed. Blobtastic Find After the U.S. Congress confirmed the existence of aliens, similar otherworldly creatures are surfacing around the world. This mysterious blob suddenly appeared on a Philippine beach in 2021 and was instantly taken in by the authorities. Three years later, we've finally gotten to see what it is. But yeah, it's only confusing us more. Now we don't know what it is. Even if it's an alien, the way it can just sprout unlimited eyes is making me uneasy. The lack of a mouth or other body part is just making it worse. Well, for once, I'm glad it's locked up in a lab somewhere. An Asian Mystery All right, what sort of devilish creature is this? And why is Mother Nature allowing such monstrosities to exist? This eel-like creature washed ashore on a beach in the Philippines, but locals haven't figured out what it is. It could be the Warasuba, but it typically swims in China and Japan, so we have no idea what brought it to the shore. Sea Reptile a bloated mass, fangs emerging from part of its body, and an undeniable sense of danger. This cryptic creature was brought in by rogue waves sometime during the night, and researchers are scratching their heads trying to figure out what it is. At first, it looked like some sort of a mammoth, but that wouldn't explain how this creature got in the ocean in the first place. Some also suggested it could be a whale, but despite its peculiar shape, it's clearly not a marine dweller. Eventually, researchers analyzed that it could be part reptile, but it doesn't match the description of any animals we know so far, especially since it has sharp fangs protruding from the belly. Space Visitor You know the world's coming closer to an alien invasion when a UFO is flying clear as day. This one was casually stalking out an airport in Manila, the Philippines. Weirdly enough, it managed to hide from view until one passenger captured it on camera just as his plane took off. Many believed it could be the UFO had some sort of protective barrier that would make it invisible to the human eye, but not to the camera. The Legend of Lolong For decades, sightings of a giant crocodile terrorized the residents of Bonawan until they finally decided to put a stop to it and united to capture it. Lolong the crocodile was finally captured in 2011, but it wasn't an easy task. In fact, it took about a hundred people to overpower the giant reptile, which was putting up quite the fight. And this is the terrifying moment it almost caused an entire town to faint. Eventually, Lolong was sedated and measured, and this giant crocodile measured about 20 feet 3 inches, making it a world record holder for the largest croc in captivity. Croca Monster
a tourist exploring the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park in Palawan, Philippines, noticed a peculiar creature emerge from the water. He initially mistook it as a crocodile, but the creature's body was too oddly shaped for that. If we take a closer look, it's almost like the head of the creature is too big for its body, or has some sort of mass on top of its head. That's certainly unusual, even by our standards. What could it be? A monster that's always lurked in the water but remains hidden to this day? Or a marine creature that popped up for a breath of fresh air? You be the judge. Mud Alien a beachgoer captured a mysterious creature rising from a small mud pool. Initially believing it was some sort of fish, the beachgoer quickly realized that it wasn't the case. If it were, the fish wouldn't be jumping out for air, now would it? Some suspect it could be a crocodile trying to get some air. But just look at it. That's yet another theory we can debunk. So what is it? Some sort of marine anomaly that occasionally rises out of the mud? Or is the pool some sort of secret hideout for an alien creature? A scary omen. Orfish is found dead in the town of Libon Albay. Orfish are deep sea dwellers. This beachgoer is proudly holding up a giant orfish that washed ashore on a beach in Libon Albay. But little does he know what that means. Orfish typically spend their lives in the depths of the ocean, and they like to hide out, so you don't encounter them until they surface. And that doesn't happen unless there's something dangerous going on. You see, most orfish are pushed to the shore after a natural disaster strikes, and often they even appear right before one, which means these beachgoers better sleep with one eye open. Tyranno Corpse Rex. In 2014, this mysterious creature washed ashore on a local beach. It had supposedly washed ashore after at least a few weeks of its passing, so its body was unrecognizable, save for its sharp teeth, which sparked rumors about the existence of dinosaurs. Of course, crazy conspiracies followed through. Several claimed it was a clone dinosaur made at a secret testing facility, but had been discarded after the experiment failed. Others believed it was proof that dinosaurs didn't go extinct, but lived in hiding. Spelunker's Regret. Yan, yung pinakamalaking bungo na yan, guys. Yan. This is the moment a curious spelunker discovered something disturbing in a cave in the Philippines. Small skulls marked the entrance of the cave, as if warning the curious explorer to stay away. But despite the warnings, he pushed his camera forward and captured a couple of bones lining the entrance. Bungo na yan, guys. Yan. Ito yung mga buto nila. Spooked? They made a run for it, but it's a terrifying mystery, isn't it? Some believe the cave could belong to an eagle of some sort, and the smaller skulls and bones belong to monkeys. But judging by their appearance, they could belong to humans as well, which is why locals believe it could be the hideout of a black magic performing witch. Reptilian Mystery this mysterious creature emerged from the depths of the ocean as one diver was resting atop a cliff nearby. Initially assuming it was a croc, he was ready to call for help when he realized the reptilian creature looked rather like a mix of something alien and bizarre. It resembled a lizard too, but one that big? Yeah, right. Its identity is still a mystery. But what do you think? Santos's Mermaid. <laughs> Tourists visiting the London beach in the Philippines caught something splashing a few feet away from their boat. The mysterious water dweller approached closer, but remained hidden from view, as if it was trying to drive them away without revealing its identity. The tourists wholeheartedly believe it's a mermaid, and considering the tales, they might even be right. Soul Sucker. According to Philippine mythology, Tianak is a vampire-like creature that shapeshifts into a human toddler to lure unsuspecting people at night. After numerous reports of such sightings, an amateur explorer finally managed to capture the Tianak. The spooky creature was trying to gnaw its way out of the cage, but the locals didn't let it. Many believed they'd captured the Tianak right before it could transform, so it was desperate to get out. 
Some also pointed out how similar it looked to a chupacabra, while others believed it was a malnourished bear hybrid. Well, whatever it was, it's certainly terrifying. <laughs> Transparent Belt We keep talking about aliens inhabiting the Earth, but what if they've long existed and simply thrived in the oceans? This mysterious creature made an appearance near the Mapating Cave in the Philippines and has since impressed the marine community. This is a Venus girdle, a one-of-its-kind comb jelly that's so rare to capture, this might be one of the only pieces of footage of it swimming close to the human population. The colorful twinges you're seeing here is actually the girdle's bioluminescence, which makes it glow in the dark. Beowulf Beachgoers found this weird creature after a couple of rough waves brought to the shore. They initially assumed it was just a rodent carcass, but soon realized they couldn't put a name to the creature. It looked like a cross between a boar and a wolf. But other than that, we haven't really got a clue. One of the beachgoers even flipped it over to see what he could make of it, but it only added to the curiosity. Many believe it could be an otherworldly creature that got trapped on Earth and eventually met its fate. But a few have pointed out that it could just be a regular animal animal carcass that's unrecognizable due to its state. The Aswang A resident at a small village in the Philippines was convinced his house was haunted, but other locals weren't taking him seriously. Until he finally convinced them to take a good look, and they captured a creepy creature stalking them from above. Most of the residents surrounded the area, initially laughing because they believed they were being pranked. But that's when they noticed the creature had a humanoid body. But it was so unbelievably thin, they just couldn't say it was human. A few of them were sure they'd seen the Aswang, a shape-shifting ghoul that seeks humans as prey. The creature soon vanished from sight, leaving the village in terror. Squidalicious Rough waves brought this giant squid right into a Filipino fisherman's hands, who eagerly hooked it right away and brought it to the shore. Since giant squids rarely surface, catching something like this is equivalent to finding a gold mine. But luckily for the town, the fisherman was generous enough to share. <laughs> After all, the giant creature measured eight feet long. That would easily make several pounds of calamari. Of course, there were a few who gathered to admire the sight, or maybe just their stomachs had started to rumble. <laughs> Beats of disgust. And this is why I hate the ocean. Now, what even is this? It definitely doesn't match any creature I know. And yes, the ocean is a big place, but if it's holding creepy creatures like this, we're better off on the shore. This was captured by port employees working along a dock, and they've taken it to the local lab, but are still waiting on the results. Of course, this means we've got all the time in the world to think about what it really is. It could be an alien creature that swims in the ocean, waiting to prey on unsuspecting folks, or it could be part of an intestine of some creature. Uh, but the way it's pulsating? <laughs> Nature's Gem this is what a deep-sea camera discovered while recording underwater drillers at work. For a second, you'd think it's a grouper. But then here's a closer look. Its transparent body is a clear giveaway. It's a type of jellyfish, but one that's so transparent, and you can't even spot any tentacles on it. So what is it? Well, this is the Deepstaria enigmatica, a jellyfish so rare to spot, you might be looking at just one of the few captures out there. Grim's Head You got something down here that's so. In the wild, you expect just anything to land in your backyard, even if it's some sort of horrid creature that you really can't identify. To make things worse, it looked like the creature was missing a significant chunk of its body, suggesting whatever it was, it might have encountered a bigger, probably scarier predator. Me alone. The homeowner who found this suspected it was some sort of eel, but how it managed to make its way to the land is a big mystery. I did dig into this, and it looks like some sort of stoat that might have passed away a while ago. Alien Goo 
When noticed and reported and so now they're investigating a spill and as you can see there's some tar balls here on the beach in march 2024 a beachgoer reported seeing weird blackish blobs spread on the coast initially authorities ignored the claims until more and more reports came in and they finally set out to investigate most of the beach was covered in these dense blobs which emitted a weird smell and looked like something you'd see in a horror movie a few even joked it was venom but thorough Investigations revealed these were tar spills that had traveled all the way to the coast after an oil spill a few hundred miles away. Authorities are still trying to figure out how dangerous it could be, but at least it's not some alien goo. Spilled guts. Going from Shanghai to, um... This weird creature mysteriously washed up on a beach, and even the cameraman is struggling to find out what it is. With a bony exterior, it almost fooled us into thinking it's some sort of a skull. But a flip here, and you can see it has weird, muscle-like extensions. Hi to, um, Valley. And that's certainly off-putting. Now, before you go jumping to wild theories, I do have one explanation, but I don't know if it's true. It could be part of a gill or another organ of a sea creature, which may have encountered a predator and lost a few important limbs along the way. Then I'm running back to my sea. Yeah. Crocodolphin. In 2016, a couple of boaters found the carcass of a sea creature floating in the river. They'd initially assumed the carcass belonged to a crocodile, but its hide was too smooth to belong to a reptile. That's when they switched to a dolphin, but something about the creature's appearance convinced them otherwise. The mystery sea creature had a long snout and weird, bulging eyes, unlike anything they'd ever seen before. Unable to identify the creature, the boaters captured its body and took it to the authorities, who immediately began investigations to figure out its identity. Eventually, they suggested it could have been a beaked whale, but weirdly enough, they weren't sure. The Bunkul. This disgusting creature was captured by local authorities after multiple complaints of a creepy creature stalking residents in a remote village in Kalinka. Immediately upon capture, the creature froze like a stone, evidently passing away to avoid having to explain itself. Locals believe it could be the Bunkul, a creepy half-humanoid creature that lurks within the shadows and feasts on fear. Others were sure it was a mermaid body, but who says it can't be both? Dark Pool. I don't know about you, but this guy doesn't look like he has good survival skills. When this mysterious shadow appeared beneath the surface, it prompted quite a few wild theories. Some believed it could be a giant manta ray. The size would explain it. But then the man decides to plop right into it and just breaks it apart. Which is why some think it could be a giant school of fish. But then again, where's the fun in that? A few more creative folks decided it belonged to a mysterious ghost-like creature. Now that would explain the size, the haunting look, and the ability to vanish on touch. Method acting. While a couple of movie fanatics were eagerly checking out a new prop, they didn't realize something creepy was keeping an eye on them. You wouldn't notice it either. But look at the back here. That's some sort of a creepy figure now, isn't it? Don't just jock it off to a worker now. It may look human, but the prop was blocking the entryway, and the people swear there was no one inside. Well, what do you think? Is it a ghostly spirit that was captured on this camera? Amphibian Ghost. This is what happened when the sky split open one morning. Just behind the clouds, a mysterious figure was closely observing from above. Residents were pretty freaked out. I would have been too if this happened back at home. But it seems like the ghostly silhouette didn't really want to do anything but just stare creepily. After the video made its way to the internet, most people suggested it could just be a peculiarly shaped cloud, but with glowing eyes. Yeah, right. Some others suggest CGI, but I don't know. It just looks like it's real. The Last Bite. 
This is the moment villagers finally found a python that had been raiding their farms, feeding on livestock. And let's just say, it was caught red-handed. The python's swollen state is a clear giveaway of its guilt. It has clearly just recently caught a meal, and probably hasn't even begun digesting it. It also explains why the python was so easy to track. Most larger snakes become slow and typically need a few hours, or even days, to digest their meal, so they're at risk of encountering other predators. And sometimes, they can bite off more than they can chew, which is how they end up in this condition. Water spout. Yeah, look at that. A man walking along a river pulled out his camera when he heard something splashing. The creature quickly took off, leaving behind a big mystery about its identity. Experts initially believed it was a whale coming up for air. It's possible its blowhole caused the water to shoot up, but finding a majestic giant like that in a local river is a far-fetched possibility. Yeah, look at that. Later, a few keen-eyed observers noticed the creature's shape didn't match that of any marine animal we know. Although we can barely see it, you can tell it's some type of a silhouette. Maybe it's a mermaid. Sailor Moon. <laughs> This unique butterfly-like creature was discovered by a hiker in the Palawan rainforests. Now, of course it isn't some mystery creature, but it's got a unique backstory. You see, this is the moon moth. It typically lives in Southeast Asia, which is why encountering it in the Philippines is as rare as it gets. Yet. At the same time, it's also not unusual. While the moon moth doesn't really belong in the Philippines, the country has an incredible biodiversity. Its lush rainforests could hold anything, even a moth like this. <laughs> Rotten Rascals Ah, oh, right. This is one way to lose your appetite. Now, I don't know what this is. It could be a bunch of maggots or a similar gross worm, but it sure is disgusting to see. This isn't the only issue here. When such creatures appear in large numbers, particularly when they look eager to get a destination, it only means there's something foul lying ahead. That means wherever they're heading, there's probably an animal carcass there. Or worse. Crystal Sting it's getting mushy and mushy, and I feel like throwing up. When something started to burrow in the wet sand, one beachgoer eagerly approached it to see what it was, only to find out he couldn't really make anything of it. You'd expect a little animal to pop out from underneath, but it's transparent, and that rarely leaves room for imagination. Now, some have concluded it to be a jellyfish, but I haven't really been able to identify it. Oh, it looks like little Ew. It also looks remarkably similar to an egg case from a sand snail, but it looks like it's moving, though I'm not so sure. Well, if it is truly an egg case, you're looking at generations worth of snails. It's getting mushy, mushy, and I feel like throwing up. Tupperware Tide. Yep, this is what we're doing to our planet. These bottles didn't just wash ashore on their own. They're being filtered out into a plastic waste collection system. But the sad part is, this isn't just a decade's worth of plastic bottles, but these probably were collected in just a week. Well, after seeing this, no wonder Mother Nature's being harsh towards us. We deserve it. Mega Serpent. <laughs> It takes a whole lot of guts to hold a python, especially one that's the largest in Bohol, Philippines. This is Samantha, a Burmese python that beats out the other snakes by a whopping difference. Samantha didn't just find her way into the local zoo. The snake had been terrorizing the locals for a while, so she was finally captured and brought there. She measures about 19 feet, and despite being a very valid threat, people eagerly pay up to 100 pesos to get into the cage with her. That's oh. <laughs> roughly $2 to spend some time with a terrifying reptile. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one. Cowabunga! In 2020, in Sultan Kudarat in the Philippines, a cow birthed a two-legged calf and eagerly left it on the road to fend for itself. After numerous citizens passed the two-legged creature, 
one kind-hearted man finally called Vets, who instantly gave it a thorough checkup. Although it may not look like it, the calf was actually pretty healthy and was declared fit enough to survive on its own. Well, that's when the same Samaritan stepped in and decided to adopt the calf, naming it Primo and promising to help it land on its feet. Receding hairline. In 2017, a massive hairy blob graced the Philippine coast along the Dinagat Islands. Beachgoers instantly identified it as a carcass, but it was in such an unrecognizable state, it took experts a few days to suggest it might belong to a whale. What threw them off the scent was the sea creature's hairy appearance. Most assumed it was a mysterious creature, until they realized the hair was actually muscle fibers, which means that this whale had decomposed so much it was giving a clean look to its inside. The carcass was at least 20 feet long and weighed over two tons, so it took a long time to clean up the beach. Gluttony in Action Residents in a small town in Pangasinan found a giant snakeskin just along the town square. Once they held it up, they realized it belonged to a 16-foot giant snake, one which was probably still slithering nearby. Weirdly enough, this calmed some of the residents, because their livestock had been disappearing mysteriously, sparking wild rumors about a cow-eating vampire. But now that they knew what was causing these disappearances, they knew they had to catch the snake. Only it's easier said than done, and even after after a few months of a wild goose chase, they've yet to find the reptile. Aquaman's Tribe who said you can't breathe underwater? Well, you can't, but the Bajau tribe in the Philippines can. You see, the people in the Bajau tribe spend 60% of their time underwater, which means they're easily out there for at least eight hours a day, casually diving without any gear. They routinely do this to fish. It's also why they're amazingly able to go in the water for a long time before coming up for air. They spend so much time underwater, their body just naturally adapted to it, and now they're able to hold it in. And have passed the ability to their children. Amazing, right? Interstellar. Okay, I'm now here in Pampanga. UFOs are all the rage nowadays, and this one just gave a couple of residents in Pampanga, Philippines, a little something to worry about. Starting off as a group of flashy orbs, most chalked it off as a plane taking flight, but then the four orbs combined into three and eventually disappeared into one. And here's another angle. Yup, that really looks like this mysterious craft has some sort of a glowing base. Now, I don't know what types of flight you've been watching, but it's definitely not a plane. Weirdly enough, this weird orb-like thing didn't even show up on the radar. Now that's suspicious, isn't it? Devilish Dog. In April 2016, monks reported seeing a weird animal hybrid roam their temples at night. After it was finally caught, people knew it wasn't just a normal animal. Despite looking like a dog, its body was eerily small and had weird lines all over it, almost as if it was malnourished. But something about its appearance seemed off, which is why many started calling it the chupacabra, a devilish creature that typically roams Mexico. So, we have no idea why it was found thousands of miles away. Although a few were tempted to keep the creature, the fear it sparked was just too much. So it was put down and laid to rest in the same temple where it had been found. The Taki. <laughs> A homeowner captured some sort of an animal that was messing around in his backyard. And despite securing the animal, he had no idea what it was. It looked like a mix between an ox and a lamb, which we know isn't particularly possible. Well, I looked into it, and it's actually a taki, a type of goat that typically lives close to the Himalayas. And you can pretty much guess why it's such a big mystery. How on earth it landed in someone's backyard is beyond me. <laughs> Bloated Amphibian. This unusual creature was spotted by a couple of men. 
And it's certainly a looker now, isn't it? They brought it to a local lab, hoping to identify what it was. It resembled a frog, but its rather round body made them suspect it could be something else. I believe this is the Desert Rain Frog, which has a round body and can still swell to an impressive size. The Desert Rain Frog usually lives in South Africa, so experts believe some tourists might have snuck it into the country because they found it irresistibly cute. Hypnotizing Crawler Your caterpillar, isn't it? It was discovered by a citizen casually strolling along the pavement. Luckily, the smart citizen knew it had to be protected, so they uploaded it online to get some help and possibly help secure the critter. This is the Basiothea shenki, a rare caterpillar that we don't really know a whole lot about, except that it has a rather gorgeous pattern and was only ever seen in South Africa. So naturally, it's a natural wonder. Claws versus Shell While exploring a popular dive site in Bohol, divers discovered this horseshoe crab. Fascinated by the sight, the two divers swam closer, only to realize they'd stumbled upon two horseshoe crabs engaged in some sort of a tussle. Although horseshoe crabs aren't that rare, we've never seen them fight like this. And you can even see one of the crab's shells starting to crack from the battle. Perhaps they're battling it out to seek a potential mate. Or maybe they're just bored. Nature's Glue Who needs to travel space when you can find aliens on the seabed? This oddball was captured by a diver exploring Bohol Island, and he was so confused, he ended up posting it online to get answers. It took marine experts a while to figure out that this was the predator sea slug, and it gets its name because it's carnivorous. At first look, you'd never think it had anything to do with mollusks. It almost seems like it has teeth along its mouth's edge, which I'm sure helps it catch prey. Or maybe that's just its color playing tricks on us. Either way, it's an odd sight, squishy and all. It's time for today's open discussion. A brave group of friends visited a haunted river in the Philippines, believed to be inhabited by a creepy, ghoulish creature, the Banyo Ghost. Determined to take down this creature, the group of friends finally encountered it and immediately dove into the water. Equipped with nets and spears, they managed to grab the creature. But out of nowhere, it broke free from the net and transformed into a creepy, man-like creature. Terrified, the group tried to capture it again, but every time they came close, the creature would evade them. Eventually, the group abandoned their efforts and decided to leave the creature alone. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.